hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com my name is jason newland this is stress and pain relief podcast please only listen when you can safely close your eyes this is going to both be on my podcast and also on YouTube. And eventually I'm going to figure a way of doing this without the <laughs> without the the light shining in my glasses. So if I keep my head just there, I should be fine. But the microphone isn't going to go quite far enough for me to sort of just lay back on my maybe anyway the reason behind the this podcast is stress and pain relief for those that haven't listened or watched before is both pain relief and stress pain relief both yeah, both chronic pain and stress can be reduced using the same techniques. That's why I've integrated both um, of those issues into one podcast. So whatever recording session I make can be used if you've got chronic pain or if you have uh, stress that you would like to reduce. Or eliminate so I hope that's kind of clear it's taken me 15 years to get to the point where I kind of realized that having made pain relief recordings and videos stress reduction recordings and videos for forever and ever and ever since 2006 and it dawned on me wait a minute the same techniques work for both so here we go. Uh, so each time I do one of these, I do a little bit different. There's a different thing. I mean, there will be times when it will just be me doing a relaxation session. Because increased relaxation results in decreased pain or decreased stress. Um, there may be background sounds on this uh, session. Nothing too much, I hope, but I, I live in a weird home with lots of strange sounds. It's like a, a forest, honestly. <laughs> the amount of animals that live in the, uh, the loft is ridiculous. It is... Um, Yeah, it's just it's like the ark up there, basically. But there's probably like at least five of each animal. So what we're gonna do, something a little bit different. I wanna first of all find out are you a cat lover or a dog lover? Now if you're neither, go away. No, if you're neither, then choose one that you like, that you like over the other. Okay. Now I know not everybody's into animals, but would you prefer to cuddle a little puppy or a little kitten? See, so that's, that's the only real decision you need to make before we start, okay? So choose what you like, we'll choose which you know you prefer, a little kitten or a little puppy. And there's a reason for this, which will become evident very shortly. Now, before we go any further, I'd just like you, first of all, to get in touch with whatever part of your body you're feeling that, either that chronic pain sensation or the stress or tension. 
and for here on forward I'm going to just call it the uh, the physical sensation rather than keep repeating you know certain words that are quite negative so I'm just going to ask you to focus on that physical discomfort okay wherever it may be so it might be in your shoulder it might be in your knee it might be in your ankle it might be in your chest your stomach your back you know who knows your ear it could be i don't know different places i myself have chronic pain issues in my lower back uh, which is ongoing so whenever I make one of these recordings, I focus on that part of my body, my lower back. And uh, because when I do these recordings, when I go through it, I'm doing it with you. I'm not just reading off a script. Although I did plan this before I wrote, before I started it, like a vague outline of what I'm going to be doing. Um, but I'm doing it with you. I'm not just telling you, do this, now do that. I'm doing it with you. So whether it's a relaxation session that I do, whether it's a pain relief session, whether it's um, dealing with uh, an angry person or dealing with uh, an issue from the past, I'm doing it with you, okay? As well as leading you through it verbally i'm also leading leading you through it i guess emotionally because i'm joining you on the journey yeah so i'd like you to get in touch as i am right now with that part of your body that has the physical discomfort now if you have more than one part of your body then choose the part which is the most has the most discomfort okay the one that's really you know if you went to the doctors and the doctor said uh, okay I could I could give you a tablet but only one one part, you know, one part of your body would uh, it would get rid of the pain or the stress. That kind of scenario. Choose the part you don't. Okay, my lower back. That's it. Not even. I haven't got to think about it. That is the part that I would want to be completely <sighs> released from. So choose for yourself what part. And I'd like you to focus on it and just notice what you would give it between 1 and 10 on the scale of discomfort. 10 being the worst possible feeling that you could have, whether it be, uh, you know, physically. And then 1 being pretty much nothing. Like, who cares? Doesn't bother you at all. What number would you give yourself on that scale right now for that one part of your body? And now, you can just remember that mark on there. And then at the end, we can come back, or if you choose, and notice where it is after you've released that feeling changed it transformed it into something new something different something much more different than what you can even imagine at this point okay so what I'm going to ask you to do is basically Go back to that part and draw a line around it. So, you know, if it's a part of your back, draw, imagine a line around it um, with a marker pen in your mind. If it's a part of your leg, for example, 
you could do draw a line around one bit and then a line around another bit of the leg so that part of the leg is you know separated in your mind or your arm or wherever it may be now what we're going to do we're going to actually remove that part of your body in your mind okay so we're just going to imagine moving it out just moving it out in shape the whatever shape it is and just notice maybe it's a a different color to the rest of that part of your body and just moving it out slowly so it's just floating in the air okay and as you look at it first of all we're just going to freeze it in the air freezing it not as in freezing cold but in time and I want you just to walk around and observe that part of your body just observe it looking from each different angle and you know you're that part is frozen in time the rest of you is fine and you can just look at it maybe even prod it if you want it's frozen there's no feeling there it's just prodding it just look at it maybe even get underneath and look at it from underneath and or from from on top like oh okay so that's that's what's being that's what's been giving me those feelings that I had. And notice how emotionally you feel a little bit different. It doesn't have the same hold that maybe it did before. It doesn't have any power over you. And when you see it in this way, it's it's quite harmless really it's just a piece of flesh now what we're going to do we're going to do a magic trick okay we're going to put this we've all seen magicians on the telly okay over the years and stuff we're just basically going to put this part of your body into a box so take the lid off the box there's a big fancy box it's a magic box it can be whatever color you want it to be maybe it's multicolored like a rainbow or blue or bright green sparkly so you can take the lid off put this little thing in this piece of flesh or you know it's kind of not anything anymore it's more uh, a feeling that was there before but just put it into this box and put the lid down on the box now we're going to get a little magic wand you know harry potter style and all you're going to choose is one word one of two words you choose either tap it and say kitten or tap it and say puppy really one two three tap tap kitten or puppy tap tap now and then pull the lid off and look inside and see a little puppy or a little kitten whichever you chose looking up at you with big eyes all happy to see you I pick it up the cat little kitten or the puppy just hold it in your arms and 
when you start to realize that actually that part of your body, which is now transformed into a little kitten or a little puppy, that you're now cuddling and enjoying. And that feeling that you have when you cuddle a little kitten or a puppy feels so nice. Then you realize that that is part of you. It's you that you're cuddling. It's you that you're giving love to. It's you that you're enjoying spending time with in this moment. And how does that feel as you cuddle that little kitten and maybe look down at his cute little nose, big eyes, or your puppy, again, big eyes, big smile, tongue wagging, or tail wagging, one of them, maybe both. Look how happy they are. Little kittens purring. Little puppies just so excited just to be to be with you. And then it, it could make you start to think that maybe that part of your body that's been clearly wanting your attention is no more than a little kitten or a puppy. And it just needs some love, needs to be cuddled, needs to be caressed and stroked and petted, just like you are the little kitten or the little puppy. But because you can't maybe physically do that to a part of your body, maybe now that it's transformed into that little kitten or that little puppy, you're emotionally doing it. You're now emotionally given that part of your body what it needed. To feel noticed, to feel accepted and to feel important just like the rest of us, the rest of the parts of your body. Maybe not to feel like the odd one out because of maybe an injury from the past or because of the feelings you've had towards that part of your body. It's almost like making friends with yourself. Making friends again with that part of your body. Realizing that it's you. That puppy, that kitten is you. And you're basically loving yourself. You're showing caring and kindness to yourself. And what you can do now is just hold that kitten or that puppy right to the center of your chest and allow it to just, that love and that kindness you have all to be absorbed into your heart. And those feelings of kindness and acceptance being absorbed into your chest to then be moved down into that part of your body. Filling that gap in. Instead of the feelings you had before, it's the feelings you have now. Feelings of comfort, calmness and acceptance 
and most important, love. A love for yourself, the love that you are feeling for that little kitten, for that little puppy. But a much stronger feeling of appreciation and gratitude. For everything that part of your body has done to help you in the past. Remembering that is part of you, an important part of you. It just wants to be loved, wants to be accepted, just the same as every other part of you. just enjoy that feeling of comfort spreading throughout the rest of your body as I count down from 10 down to 1 you can continue to feel twice as relaxed with each number You can continue to just relax at the end of this recording or continue to listen if you're listening with the one with music. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one. 